Hello, everyone. Can you hear me? So if you can hear me, type in the chat box, say, hello, I'm here. I can hear you. Also, maybe tell me your name. Um, let me know who's here and where you're from. That would be awesome, too. Um, we'll start in about five more minutes. I, I always start a little bit after the official start time to make sure that everyone has an opportunity to get in. Um, so, so expect we'll start in a little bit. And also, would really love to know is this, is it it's registering my voice on the um, little mic down here? But I would love to it's confirmation that you can hear me. Anybody? Also, we are going to be working some binds in practice today. Sheila! Oh, you did? Yay! Oh, Sheila, it's going to be, it's, you're going to love it. <laughs> you, you are going to absolutely love it. Um, I, it's you're one of the people that I thought of with, with the, um, the class pack. Um, so, yay. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I, I think you're really going to enjoy it. You can hear me. Fantastic. Yay. <laughs> Is that Jordan? Hi, Jordan. All right. So, in practice today, we are going to be including some binding um, in standing poses. And so if you would like a strap or a small towel to, for the binds, I would recommend that. Um, if you tend to like, yes, it's Jordan. Hi, Jordan. Um, if you have any other props that you like to have with you, such as blocks or blanket or anything like that, that might be helpful. Um, but we won't be using them explicitly. Our project today is firefly posts. Titi Basa. Laura, hello again. Yay. So, so wonderful to have you again. And please do feel free to, um, yay, woohoo, back for more. <laughs> uh, Laura, if you do have any questions about the advanced um, class pack uh, that I just launched, um, please feel free to email me at nicolechase at gmail.com. I would I'd be happy to answer any of your questions or even to set up a time to chat over the phone. I know. Grace, hello. How are you? Good to see you. We will wait a couple more minutes to, to officially start practice. As I mentioned earlier, a strap or a small towel might be helpful if you like to use those for binding. Um, but otherwise, we're not going to be using any props explicitly. Oh, you're welcome, Laura, of course. Also, um, we will wait another minute before we get started. And our project today is Firefly Pose, Titi Basa. We'll be working a lot of other poses as well, but that's our main kind of trajectory is we'll be working up toward that arm balance. So since we do have a few, we have another minute, if I haven't heard from you, I would love to hear from you in the chat box over here. Say hello, tell me your name, and also tell me where you're from. It's a bright sunny day here. Um, if you're if you're near me, maybe maybe it's sunny as well. Um, also, I was like curious, what is what is the weather like where you are? Yeah. 
Y'all there? Hello. <laughs> um, all right. Well, as I said, I will just wait a moment longer. I do want to confirm that you can all still hear me because I haven't heard from anyone in the chat box for, for a little while. So I will get started. But first, I just want to, where am I? Um, I, I live in Alameda in the East Bay. It's close to Oakland. Where, where are you, Raquel? I think that's enough of a confirmation that um, that you guys can hear me. <laughs> You're still still chatting in the chat box. Moraga, oh awesome! Moraga is beautiful. Yeah, you're not too far from me. Okay. Yes, can hear. Okay. Got it. Awesome. Thanks. Thanks for the um, thanks for the feedback, Jordan. All right, on. let's get started. You go to your mat, and I will go to mine. And stand at the top of your mat. Bring your feet and legs all the way together to touch and stand in mountain pose, Tadasana. We'll start with a few rounds of Ujjayi Pranayama. Inhale deeply. Exhale, empty out completely. And inhale for six, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, six, five, four, three, two, one. One, exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one. Same pace, inhale. And exhale. Surya Namaskara A, inhale, lift your arms up over your head, join your palms and reach up. Exhale, fold down over your legs, Uttanasana. Inhale, lengthen your spine, look forward, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, step or hop back, lower down, Chakturanga Dandasana. Inhale, curl your chest up, Urdhva Mukha Svanasana. Exhale, lift your hips up and back, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Inhale deeply. Exhale completely. Inhale here. On your exhale, walk your hands back to your feet and come into a standing forward bend at the back of your mat. You'll toe your feet all the way together until they're touching. Bend your knees, lower your hips all the way down to your heels. Widen your knees, outer hip width distance apart, and stretch your arms forward. Bring your torso between your inner thighs. Take a breath in Malasana. And inhale, look up toward your hands. Hook one arm at a time across the fronts of your shins. Lay your palms down well. Lift your hips up high. Rock your weight forward. Then claw the floor with your fingertips. Press down into the floor. Puff your spine up between your shoulder blades. Look toward the front edge of your mat and send your chest forward. Lift your feet up, Bakasan. Keep pressing down and puffing up. Keep clawing the floor with your fingertips. Keep on sending your chest forward. Maybe even straighten your arms. Mm -hmm. One more breath if you're still up in the pose. And then calmly lower your feet back down. Bring your inner thighs in to touch. Bring your heels down to the floor. Heel toe your feet out, hip width distance apart, and crawl your hands back to the top of your mat. Come into downward facing dog. Inhale deeply. Exhale completely. One more inhale here. On your exhale, bend your knees and walk or hop forward. Inhale, lengthen your spine, draw your gaze forward, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold down over your legs, Uttanasana. Inhale, rise all the way up, join your palms, Urdhva Namaskarasana. Exhale, lower your arms down by your sides, stand tall. Tadasana. Place your hands on your hips. Bend your knees a couple inches. Lift your right leg up. Then hook your right thigh over the top of your left. And if you can, even tuck your right toes back behind your left calf. Garudasana, eagle pose. Stretch your arms forward. Bring your right arm underneath your left arm and wrap your arms up. Cross your forearms. Place your palms together and press your palms together. And inhale here. On your exhale, lower your torso down towards your right thigh. <laughs> Calmly, carefully, trying to hold on to balance better than me. 
And then inhale, lift your torso back up. Mm -hmm. And from here, unwind your arms, place your hands on your hips, unwind your legs, and lift your right thigh up into your chest. Stretch your right arm inside your right thigh and clasp your right big toe. And stretch your right leg forward. Uddikta hasta padangushtasana. Then draw your right arm and right leg out to your right. Take a breath here. Keep hugging in and up to your outer left hip. That's it. And stretch your right arm and right leg back forward. Slowly release the clasp on your right big toe. Keep your right leg up. Point your right foot and hold for five, four, three, two, one. Lower your right foot down next to your left. Then hold forward. Bring your fingertips to the floor. Bend your knees, lower your hips all the way down to your heels. Widen your knees, outer hip width distance apart. Walk your hands forward and come again into Malasana, that same squatting position. Hook one arm at a time across the fronts of your shins. Lay your palms down well. Lift your hips high. Rock your weight forward and come into Bakasana. Come pressing down through your hands, puffing your spine up. Maybe even straighten your arms. And you can either lower your feet down and then shoot it back, vinyasa, or shoot it straight back, vinyasa, to downward facing dog. Mm -hmm. Inhale deeply. Exhale completely. Inhale, lift your right leg up toward the ceiling, three-legged down dog. Exhale, place your right foot all the way up between your hands and come up into warrior two. Turn open to your left. Inhale here. And exhale, reverse warrior. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, side angle pose. Pause here for a couple breaths. Draw your left arm over your face, bringing your left arm in line with your torso and your left leg. Then inhale, come back up through warrior two. Straighten your right leg and come into triangle pose. Keep your torso to your right, either hand to shin, fingertips to the floor, or hand down to a block. Keep lifting up through the fronts of your thighs, look up. Look down towards your right foot, bend your right knee, come forward and up into half moon pose. Draw from your right foot all the way up into your right hip. Stretch your left heel back and the crown of your head forward. Maybe even draw your gaze up. And slowly lower your left fingertips down to the floor. Square your hips toward the floor and bring your left leg parallel to the floor. Make your ribcage in and up, strengthen your legs, and then bring your palms to the center of your chest, coming into warrior three. Stretch back to your left heel. Stretch forward through the crown of your head. And bend your right knee, guide the ball of your left foot down and come up into crescent lunge. Exhale, place your hands down to the inner edge of your right foot. Lift your hips up and back, tuck your right arm underneath your right leg. You can stay here or wrap your right arm underneath your thigh, bring the back of your right hand to your outer right hip. You can even wrap your left arm behind your back, coming into a full bind. Uh-huh, that's it. One more breath where you are. Okay, now lower your left hand down. Lower your right hand down, but keep your right arm tucked underneath your right and hop your left foot forward so that both feet are close to the top of your mat. Lift your left heel, work your left arm underneath your left leg. Place both hands back behind your heels, lean back into your hands, and the heels of your palms down into the floor like you're sitting on your arms. Crawl your feet in closer to one another and hook your right foot on top of your left. Mm -hmm. Coming into Bhujja Pidasana. Keep on clawing the floor with your fingertips, pressing down like Bakasan, and press your feet into one another, lift your feet off the floor if you haven't already. Okay. Now, a couple options here. You can just simply lower your feet down, walk your hands forward to come through Vinyasa, or you can unhook your feet, lean forward, tuck your legs back Bakasan, and shoot it back Vinyasa. Inhale deeply, and exhale completely. And take one more inhale. On your exhale, bend your knees and walk or hop forward. Inhale, lengthen your spine, draw your gaze forward, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold down over your legs, Uttanasana. Inhale, rise all the way up, join your palms, Ardha Namaskarasana. Exhale, lower your arms down by your sides and stand tall. Place your hands on your hips, bend your knees a couple inches. Lift your left leg up and hook your left thigh over your right. If you can, even tuck your left toes back behind your right calf. 
Stretch your arms forward. Bring your left arm underneath your right. Cross your forearms and join your palms together. Press them together. Inhale here. Maybe sit a little bit deeper. On your exhale, slowly lower your torso down toward your left thigh. And inhale, lift your torso all the way back up. And unwind your arms. Place your hands on your hips. Unwind your legs. Hug your left thigh into your chest. Stretch your left arm inside your left thigh and clasp your left big toe. Stretch your left leg forward. Uddita Pandushtasana. And draw your left arm and left leg out to your left. Hug in and up through your outer right hip. And draw your left arm and left leg back forward. And keep your leg up as you slowly release the clasp on your left big toe. Point your left foot over five, four, three, two, one. Lower your left foot all the way down next to your right. Fold forward, bring your fingertips to the floor. Bend your knees, lower your hips down to your heels. Widen your knees apart and stretch your arms forward. Bring your torso between your inner thighs. And look up towards your hands. Hook one arm at a time across the fronts of your shins and lay your palms down. Lift your hips up. Rock your weight forward. Claw the floor with your fingertips and come up into Bakasana. And hold. Maybe for a couple more breaths. And option to lower your feet and then vinyasa or simply shoot it back. Vinyasa to downward facing dog. Inhale deeply. Exhale completely. Inhale, lift your left leg up toward the ceiling. Exhale, place your left foot up between your hands and come up into warrior two. Inhale here. And exhale, reverse warrior. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, side angle pose and pause here for a couple breaths. Draw your right arm into in line with your torso and your right leg at a diagonal angle. Inhale, come back up through warrior two. Straighten your left leg and come into triangle pose. Keep your torso to your left, either hand to shin, fingertips to the floor, hand down to a block. Keep on drawing from your kneecaps all the way up through the fronts of your thighs. Turn your chest up and look up. Then look down towards your left foot, bend your left knee, come forward and up into half moon pose. Draw from your left foot into your left hip. Stretch your right heel back, the crown of your head forward. Maybe even draw your gaze up. Aha. Uh -huh. Then calmly lower your right fingertips down to the floor. Square your hips toward the floor and bring your right leg down until it's parallel to the floor. Knit your rib cage in and up. Keep your legs strong. And bring your palms to the center of your chest coming into warrior three. Pause for a couple breaths here. Bend your left knee, guide the ball, be right foot down to the floor. Lift your torso and arms up, crescent lunge. Exhale, place your hands down to the inner edge of your left foot. Lift your hips up and back and tuck your left arm underneath your left leg. You can stay here or wrap your left arm underneath your thigh. You can stay there or complete the bind. Wrap your right arm behind your back. Clasp your hands together. Couple breaths. Okay, then slowly lower your right hand down. Keep your left arm underneath your left leg and place your left hand back behind your right, your left heel. Hop your right foot forward so that it's in line with your left. Lift your right heel, tuck your right arm underneath your right leg. Now line up your feet, get your arms underneath there, and then bring your hands back behind your heels. Lower your hips down, roll down to the heels of your palms. Claw the floor with your fingertips and then heel toe your feet in until they're really close to one another. This time, hook your left foot on top of your right, and then lift your hooked feet up. Keep pressing down into the floor, puffing your spine up like bakasin. Keep clawing the floor with your fingertips and lift your feet up. Okay, and a couple options for exit here. You can lower your feet down and then guide your hands forward to come back through vinyasa, or you can simply unhook your feet, lean forward, tuck your legs back, bakasin, and vinyasa. The downward facing dog. Inhale deeply and exhale completely. Take one more inhale here. On your exhale, bend your knees and walk or hop forward. Inhale, lengthen your spine, draw your gaze forward, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold down over your legs, Uttanasana. Inhale, rise all the way up, join your palms, Ardha Namaskarasana. Exhale, Lower your arms all the way down by your sides and stand tall. Place your hands on your hips. Bend your knees a couple inches. 
And hook your right thigh over your left and tuck your toes back behind your calf if possible. Stretch your arms forward. Loop your right arm underneath your left, cross your forearms and bring your palms together to touch. Perhaps a little bit deeper. And then lower your chest down toward your right thigh. That's it. And lift your torso all the way back up. Okay, and place your hands on your hips. Unwind your legs, hug your right thigh into your chest. Stretch your right arm inside your right thigh and clasp your right big toe. Stretch your right leg forward. Good, and then stretch your right arm and right leg out to your right. Fantastic, stretch your right leg back forward. Okay, we're gonna add one piece this time. Take your left hand to the outer edge of your right foot and then stretch your right arm back for a little twisted version of this. If you would like, you can even draw your gaze up toward the side wall or even back. And calmly draw your gaze back forward. And again, try to keep your right leg up, release the clasp, keep the twist through your chest. Hold for five, four, three, two, one. Lower your right foot down, bring your arms down by your sides. And then from here, actually place your hands on your hips, bend your knees, Hop your feet almost mat with distance apart. Inhale here. Exhale, fold forward, bring your fingertips down to the floor in front of your toes. Work, work one arm at a time underneath your legs, coming into the same position we were just in a moment ago for Bhuja Pirasana. Bring your hands back behind your heels, lean back, lower the heels of your palms down to the floor, crawl your feet together, hook your right foot on top of your left, and lift your feet up for Bhuja Pirasana. And just as before, you can lower your feet, walk your hands forward for vinyasa, or simply lean forward, tuck your legs back, bakasan, and vinyasa. Mm. Inhale deeply. Exhale completely. Inhale, lift your right leg up toward the ceiling. Exhale, place your right foot all the way between your hands, and come up into warrior two again. Inhale here. Exhale, reverse warrior. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, side angle pose. This time, bring your hand to the inner edge of your right foot and stretch your left arm up. You can stay here or wrap your arms underneath your right side for a bind. And you can release the bind for triangle pose or you can keep it as you come into triangle pose. Straighten your right leg. Don't force your leg straight. Just get it as straight as it'll go without feeling pulling. Then bend your right knee again. If you have the bind, release it. Stretch your right fingertips forward. Drag your left foot in and come into Ardha Chandrasana. Draw from your right foot all the way up into your right hip. Stretch your left heel back and the crown of your head forward. Maybe even venture to draw your gaze up. Then lower your left fingertips down to the floor. Square your hips toward the floor and come into standing split. Mm-hmm. Pull. Cool. Walk your hands back forward. Either come straight through vinyasa or a couple hops up toward handstand on your way back through vinyasa. And it's an if and only if. Sounds like a wonderful idea. Yeah, and then vinyasa as you're ready to downward facing dog. Inhale here. On your exhale, walk your hands back to your feet and come into a standing forward bend at the back of your mat. Widen your feet, outer hip width distance apart. Lift your right heel. Tuck your right arm underneath your right leg. Bring the back of your right hand to your outer right hip. Loop your left arm behind your back. So it's kind of like the lunging positions. You're just wrapping your arms around your right thigh. This feels fine here. Lower your right heel down to the floor. And if that feels fine there, start to straighten both legs. Turn your chest to your left. Look over your left arm for Ardha Baddha Uttanasana. One more breath where you are. And then slowly bend both knees, release the bind, walk your hands to the top of your mat. Come back into downward facing dog. Inhale deeply. Exhale completely. And take one more inhale. On your exhale, bend your knees and walk or hop forward. Inhale, lengthen your spine, draw your gaze forward, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold down over your legs, Uttanasana. Inhale, rise all the way up, join your palms, Urdhva Namaskarasana. Exhale, lower your arms down by your sides and stand tall, Tadasana. Place your hands on your hips, bend your knees a couple inches, lift your left leg up, hook your left thigh over your right, and then you can try to tuck your toes back behind your right calf. 
Stretch your arms forward. Hook your left arm underneath your right upper arm. Cross your forearms and bring your palms together. Sit a little bit deeper. Hug your inner thighs in. Inhale here. Then exhale, lower your torso slowly, carefully down towards your left thigh. And then lift your torso back up. Mm -hmm. Place your hands on your hips. Unwind your legs and bring your left thigh into your chest. Stretch your left arm inside your left thigh, clasp your left big toe, and stretch your left leg forward. Uttita Stephanabhushtasana. And draw your left arm and left leg out to your left. And draw your left arm and left leg back forward. And stretch your right hand forward, clasp the outer edge of your left foot, stretch your left arm back for a twist. If you're feeling really steady, you can even start to draw your gaze out toward the side or back. And then slowly draw your gaze back forward. Try to keep your left leg up. Slowly release the clasp. Keep the twist in your chest and hold for five, four, three, two, one. Lower your left foot down. Lower both arms down. Place your hands on your hips. Inhale, bend your knees. Hop your feet almost mat width distance apart. Inhale here. Exhale, fold down over your legs and place your hands in front of your toes. Then, one leg at a time, tuck your arms underneath your legs. Bring your hands to your calf muscles, lift your heels, get them under deep, and bring your fingertips back behind your heels. Lean your hips down toward the floor, bring the heels of your palms down. Crawl your feet in until the inner edges of your feet are touching, then hook your left foot on top of your right. Lift your feet up. When pressing down into the floor, clawing the floor with your fingertips. Uh-huh. Same options here. You can lower your feet and walk your hands forward for vinyasa or keep your legs floating. Tuck one leg back at a time, bakasan, and shoot it back, vinyasa. Mm -hmm. Inhale deeply. Exhale completely. Inhale, lift your left leg up toward the ceiling. Exhale, place your left foot all the way between your hands and come up into warrior two. Stretch from fingertip to fingertip. Inhale here. Exhale, reverse warrior. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, side angle pose. Place your left hand to the inner edge of your left foot and stretch your right arm up. And you can stay here or wrap your arms around your left thigh, coming into bound Parjva Konasan. And you can keep the bind for Trikonasana, or you can release it. Slowly start to straighten your left leg. And take it really slow if you have the bind. You don't want to force it straight here. It's really not worth it. Your hamstrings won't be happy. And bend your left knee. If you have the bind, release it. Stretch your left fingertips forward. Come forward and up into half moon pose. Draw from your left foot into your left hip. Stretch your right heel back and the crown of your head forward. Take one more inhale. Maybe even look up. And then slowly bring your right fingertips down to the floor. Square your hips toward the floor and come into standing split. If you'd like to deepen the stretch, walk your hands back. Fold your face in. Stretch your right heel higher. And walk your hands back forward. Either come straight through vinyasa or a couple little hops up toward handstand on your way back through vinyasa. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we'll meet in downward facing dog. Begin to make your way there if you haven't already. Uh huh. Inhale deeply. When you exhale, walk your hands back to your feet, come into a standing forward bend at the back of your mat. Widen your feet outer hip width distance apart. Lift your left heel. Take your left hand to your left calf muscle and work your left arm underneath your left leg. Whip your left arm underneath your side, bring the back of your left hand to your outer left hip. Reach your right arm behind your back and clasp. If this feels fine here, lower your left heel down. And if this feels fine here, work your legs a little bit straighter, both of them. Turn your chest to your right, look over your right shoulder. A couple more breaths. And then slowly bend both knees. Release the bind and crawl your hands back to the top of your mat. Adho Mukha Shpanasana. Inhale deeply. Exhale completely. One more inhale here. 
On your exhale, bend your knees and walk or hop forward. Inhale, lengthen your spine, draw your gaze forward, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold down over your legs, Uttanasana. Inhale, rise all the way up, join your palms, Urdhva Namaskarasana. Exhale, lower your arms down by your sides and stand tall. Place your hands on your hips, last piece here. Bend your knees, lift your right leg up, hook your right thigh over your left, tuck your right toes back behind your left calf. Stretch your arms forward, hook your right arm underneath your left, cross your forearms and bring your palms together. Inhale here. Exhale, lower your torso down, belly down towards your left side. Then inhale, lift your torso back up. Okay, and bring your hands to your hips, unwind your legs, hug your right side into your chest. Stretch your right arm inside your right thigh, clasp your right big toe, and stretch your right leg forward. The breath. And draw your right arm and right leg out to your right. Now, permission to stay here, or bend your right knee deeply, Keep your right leg up, wrap your arms around your right side, bind your up right thigh, lift your torso up, and straighten your right leg. Coming straight into Bird of Paradise. Mm -hmm. And then if you came into Bird of Paradise, bend your right knee again, release the bind, clasp your right big toe, and roll back into Utita Hasta Everyone stretch your right leg forward. Try to keep your right leg up, release the clasp on your right big toe, point your right foot, hold for five, four, three, two, one. Lower your right foot all the way down. Bend your knees, hop your feet, almost mat width distance apart. Inhale here. Exhale, fold forward, bring your fingertips in front of your toes, and then work your arms underneath your legs one at a time. And place your hands back behind your heels, lower your hips down, and roll down to the heels of your palms. Okay, so either Bhuja Pidasana again, or this time we'll go after Titi Basana. Most important thing is to keep lifting your hips up, okay? If your hips start sinking down toward the floor, you're, you're gonna come out of the pose. So first, hug your inner thighs in towards your arms. Mm -hmm. To do so, crawl your feet in toward one another like you're gonna come into Bhuja Pidasana, but keep that action of hugging your thighs in. Press down, lift your hips up, keep lifting your hips up. Float your feet off the floor, and then even try to straighten your legs forward. Keep pressing down and keep lifting your hips up. Press down, lift your hips up, stretch your legs forward. Press down, hips up, stretch your legs forward. Okay, same options as for Bhuja Pidasan. You can lower your feet down to the floor and then come into Vinyasa or lean forward, tuck your legs back, Bakasan, and Vinyasa. Take a breath here, inhale. Mm, and exhale. Inhale, lift your right leg up toward the ceiling. Exhale, place your right foot up between your hands. Come up into warrior two. Inhale here. Exhale, reverse warrior. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, side angle pose. Same process, hand to the inner edge of your foot. Stretch your left arm up. Either stay here or wrap your arms around your right thigh. Turn your chest up. And keep the bind or not to come into trikonasana. Straighten your right leg. And bend your right knee again, and it's like release the bind or keep it for Ardha Chandrasana this time. Hop your left foot in until your weight is fully on your right foot. If you're if you have the bind, keep on looking straight down toward the floor. Try to straighten your right leg, and ever so slowly lift your left leg up. Uh huh. Now, try with keeping your left leg up to release the bind and come into regular Ardha Chandrasana. Yeah. <laughs> Bring your left fingertips down to the floor, square your hips toward the floor, and come into standing split. Take another breath here. Walk your hands forward. And either come straight through vinyasa or a couple hops up toward handstand on your way back through vinyasa. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we'll meet in downward facing dog. Make your way there. Inhale deeply, exhale completely. Take one more inhale. On your exhale, bend your knees and walk or hop forward. Inhale, lengthen your spine, draw your gaze forward, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold down over your legs, Uttanasana. Inhale, rise all the way up, join your palms, Urdhva Namaskarasana. Exhale, lower your arms down by your sides and stand tall. Last piece, place your hands on your hips. Bend your knees a couple inches. 
Lift your left leg up. Hook your left thigh over your right. Tuck your left toes back behind your right calf. Stretch your arms forward. Hook your left arm underneath your right. Cross your forearms and bring your palms together. Sit a little deeper. Inhale. Exhale, bring your torso down to your left thigh. Then inhale, lift your torso back up. Place your hands on your hips. Unwind your legs and hug your left thigh into your chest. Stretch your left arm inside your left thigh and clasp your left big toe. Stretch your left leg forward. Uttitasa Padmustasana. And draw your left arm and left leg out to your left. You may stay right here. Or if you want to come after Bird of Paradise, bend your left knee really deeply. Release the clasp on your toe, keeping your left leg up. Loop your left arm underneath. Find a bind. Lift your chest up. And then start to straighten your left leg as much as you can. Uh-huh. If you're in Bird of Paradise, bend your left knee and calmly regain the clasp on your left big toe and come back into Tita Parshvasta Pangushtasana. Draw your left arm, left leg back forward. Keep your left leg up, slowly release the clasp on your left big toe, point your left foot, hold for five, four, three, two, one. Lower your left foot all the way down. Bend your knees, hop your feet, outer hip with distance apart. Inhale here, exhale, fold forward. Bring your hands in front of your toes. Then work your arms underneath your legs, one at a time. Mm -hmm. Then bring your fingertips back behind your heels. Lower your hips down, bringing your thighs onto your arms and bring the heels of your palms all the way down to the floor. Again, most important thing I want you to focus on is keep on lifting your hips up. Once they sink down toward the floor, you're gonna fall out of the pose. So walk your feet in toward one another. And what this helps with is the hugging in of your inner thighs into your arms. Keep that action even as you lift your feet off the floor. Press down into the floor, lift your hips up. As you press down into the floor and lift your hips up, straighten your legs forward. Press down, lift hips up, straighten your legs forward. Press down, hips up, straighten your legs forward. Press down, hips up, straighten your legs forward. Okay. And now vinyasa. And lower your hands, lower your feet, lower your hands, and tuck it back. Or to bhakasana, and then through vinyasa. We'll meet in downward facing dog. Inhale deeply. Exhale completely. Inhale, lift your left leg up toward the ceiling. Exhale, place your left foot up between your hands and come up into warrior two. Inhale here. Exhale, reverse warrior. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, side angle pose. Left hand to the inner edge of your left foot and stretch your right arm up. And you may stay here or come into a bind. And you may release the bind for triangle pose or keep it, balanced tree kodasan. Don't force your left leg straight, especially if you have the bind. And bend your left knee again. Look down towards your left foot. You can release the bind here for Ardha Chandrasana or come into Baddha Ardha Chandrasana. Hop your right foot in until your weight is on your left foot. Try to straighten your left leg as much as you can. Keep on looking down toward the floor and ever so slowly lift your right leg up. And then Try to keep your right leg up as you release the behind, come into your regular half moon pose. Easier said than done. And bring your right fingertips down to the floor, score your hips toward the floor, and come into standing split. Walk your hands back, fold your face in, stretch your right heel higher. And walk your hands back forward, either come straight through vinyasa or a couple hops up toward handstand on your way back through vinyasa. Up to you, your choice. Uh-huh. Okay, <laughs> and we'll meet in downward facing dog. So begin to make your way there. If you haven't already, inhale deeply. Exhale completely. And take one more inhale. On your exhale, bend your knees, walk or hop forward and through to sit down. And lie down on your backs. Okay, finally, a couple back bends. <laughs> a twist and Shavasana. So either Setu Bandha Sarvangasana or Urdhva Danyarasana. If you're coming after a bridge pose, keep your arms by your sides. If you're coming all the way up into Urdhva Danyarasana, palms underneath your shoulders. Peel your buttocks off the floor, your low back, middle back, upper back. Either stay here or come the rest of the way up. 
and do Urdhva Dhanurasana. And breathe. Breathe deeply and evenly. And keep on pressing down through the inner edges of your feet. Hug your inner thighs in. Inhale once more. On your exhale, make your way all the way down with control. Whew. Your arms by your sides. Okay, we're gonna do one more. Your choice of either bridge pose or upward facing bow. Either keep your arms by your sides or place your hands underneath your shoulders. Feel your buttocks off the floor, low back, middle back, upper back. Either stay there or come the rest of the way up. Mm -hmm. And breathe deeply, evenly, steadily. And one more inhale here. On your exhale, make your way all the way down with control. And then bring the soles of your feet together, widen your knees apart, coming into Supta Baddha Konasana. Give yourself a moment here to allow the activity of class settle. <laughs> and keep your knees bent, bring the soles of your feet to the floor, point your knees up. Bring your arms out to your sides in a T, and then lift your shins up until they're parallel to the floor. Draw your legs down to your right, twist your chest to your left to come into a simple twist. A couple more breaths. Inhale, come back up to center, and draw your legs down to your left, twist your chest to your right, look over your right arm, and breathe. Inhale, come back up to center. Hug your thighs into your chest. Wrap your arms around your shins. Give yourself a big hug. A gesture of appreciation to yourself. And then slowly release the clasp. Stretch your legs out fully. Stretch your arms out fully. And at least sink down in here for a couple breaths. Okay, and if you can take more time, please do. If you need to be done, this is where we'll end. Sit up. Come into a comfortable seat. Thank you so much for the gift of your company today. Namaste. Thanks, everyone. <laughs> huh. That was a lot. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Tom, good to see you here. So, so good to see you here. Hey, Grace, yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. Um, so those of you on, I would love to tell you about um, a new, so it's in, it's called the Advanced Class Pack, um, but it's basically like a, a practice series um, that's sold together for the company that I've been working for for a really long time. It's uh, my teacher and mentor's company, Noah Maze. It's called the Maze Method, and I just launched this, this online practice course, um, and um, I think that you would all really enjoy it. If you want some more info about it, um, you can... Email me at nicolechase at gmail.com. Um, and um, I, it's like, it's you know, 11 classes, and it's only 108 for the whole package. And you get access to all the classes forever. Um, so I definitely stand by the quality of it. I think you guys would really enjoy it. Um, please do let me know if you have questions, and I would love to, to have you in, of course. All right, all. Announcements done. Um, Please have a wonderful day. Enjoy your weekend. And I hope to see you on the mat very soon. In the meantime, stay safe and healthy. And know that I'm sending my love out to you. Thank you so much. Love you. Yeah. Bye for now. <laughs>